What a fucking logo. It's our boyfriend, Nate. I can't believe our boyfriend is a faceless Tumblr sexy man anon. I can't believe it. So, what are we playing today, Nate? Um, we're playing with your boyfriend, which is a lot less horny than it sounds from what I hear. I, I know, okay, so I purposefully not done anything with this game, so I don't know anything about it other than that it's like, what? Stop! Stop! Okay. okay. <laughs> That's really annoying. <laughs> Your boyfriend. My boyfriend. If I take too long in the fucking menus, it starts to do the fucking title sequence all over again. Yeah, your boyfriend's kind of a piece of shit. He's kind of a piece of shit. I mean, that's what I hear, but I don't really know anything about the game other than that. Mm. So let's figure that shit out. Also, today I'm here with Nate and some people watching on stream. Whoa. Hello? In the stream, we've got Huge Pet, Milky Walmart, and Pez. Hello to all of you lovely people. I'm so glad you joined us today. Uh, Everything's dark. Yeah. There was like a, a thing on screen for half a second, and then it disappeared, and now there's nothing. Well, congratulations. You already lost the game. Am I really going to have to fucking start it over? <laughs> I told you your boyfriend was a piece of shit. God, I hate this. Okay. Just get me in there. Get me into the fucking game. Play. I hit my mic. Ah, I was hoping something happened in the game. There, yes. E Enter a your name. R K. No, no, that's what they're expecting. Oh, what should I do? Buttress. Uh... It's an architectural construct. Is is that butt rice? Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, butt rice it is. That's not how you spell it, but that's Welcome, perfect. butt rice! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh no, he invited us to play disc golf. What a piece of shit. Eh. My life has been chaotic. My family broke out into another fit of drama, so I left the nest, ran straight to college, and got an apartment and job. I must be fucking loaded. But Jesus lately, Christ. my job at a greasy spoon diner, at a greasy spoon diner, has been unbearable. The job doesn't pay the best, so that meant I had to find a roommate to afford an apartment. Even though I got the apartment when I started college? Okay. Yeah, like daddy's nest egg wasn't enough? And now my roommate is always bringing some dropout to our apartment for late night study sessions. My sleep schedule is wrecked, and even better, the rent on the apartment is late. And these Maybe. birds are fucking loud. Maybe, like, pick a better roommate next time. Yeah. Like, God. Maybe don't get your roommate off of one of those, uh, uh, have you ever been on one of those boards that's like, oh, we're, we're a, a, a queer, like, roommate finding service. You get, like, this sheet that <laughs> we put in front of a closet. That's your door. Uh, yeah, I have a tumbler. Hey, man. I heard once that you... I heard once that if you become a roommate with a friend, you won't stay friends for long. In my case, the friendship gets strained thinner as my friend keeps making excuses why they need me to cover their half of the rent. Thanks to that deadbeat, I'm working harder just to lose money on the rent. I'm nearly broke and getting a second job feels like it'll kill me. Get a new roommate. Get a better friend. Get a better friend. At least in this park, I have some alone time to play mm -hmm. this. Disc golf? I've always loved this part of the park. 
It's untouched by obnoxious family members and college jerks. Because everyone else has a better sense of self than to play disc golf. Right? The only people who come here are gr the groundskeepers. Even then, they only come by in the morning. Closing my eyes, I rub my face and huff out the tension in my lungs so that I could calm down enough to enjoy the peace and quiet. <sighs> What's up, dude, bro? <laughs> Just then, I feel someone sit down beside me. Startled, I turn and look towards the inter- the in- I turn to look towards the interloper. Yeah. Whoa, hey! Oh take my it god, easy. It's what the just fuck? Me. Oh shit, there's voice acting in this game. Hi, just me. I joked about uh, this just being a tumbly sexy man of an anon, but that's who he is. Yeah. You, it looks like it, it looks like whenever someone makes like uh, those. How do I put this in a YouTube friendly way? Um, very saucy no. pictures, but they only want to draw, like, one character, and the other one's, like, a self-insert. Very saucy. Very saucy. This stranger very says, like trying to keep me from leaping too high off the park bench. You're a jumpy one, aren't you? Well, I mean, you sat next to me, so... He smiles and scoots himself closer to me, shyly and awkwardly. You don't move closer shyly. That's not how that works. No. I keep my eyes on him, unsure of what his intentions are. His unblinking eyes don't stray from mine. Not once. Or blink when you mace him. Maybe he's blinking at the same time I'm blinking. Did I ever tell you about that one time I was studying in the library and some guy I've never met before just comes and like the desks at the library have like these uh, walls on the sides and back of, like, the desk part itself so that you can, like, have a little bit of privacy. He comes and, like, puts his arm on the top of, like, that thing. And he's on the phone talking to someone. And he just starts chatting me up while I am very visibly studying. And this whole time, I'm like, okay, hi, yeah, what, what what's up? What, what can I do for you? And he's just talking to me. And, like, he compliments my hair, which is nice. And he, he's saying all this stuff, and then he just keeps talking on the phone while he's, like, power stance with his arm up above me. And I'm like, I am in danger. Very much in danger. At what point did you figure out that he was a business major? Ugh, God. So, are you waiting for a family member or a friend? I shouldn't tell you, Mr. Stranger. Just seems kind of odd for you to be sitting out here, all alone like this, and so far away from the jogging track. I feel like I'm gonna get stabbed, and that's not just because I know this is a horror game. Hey, by the way, should I be reading aloud what's going on in the uh, chat? Uh, Milky Walmart declared me unnecessary. Fucking rude. Hey! <laughs> I will fight you on the moon. My job was pre-filled. You know what else comes pre-filled? My ass. Did you? <coughs> did you steal my fucking punchline? <laughs> Whore boy. Hey, twink. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, oh. So we admit to it now. I'll admit to being twink. I will not admit to being whore boy. A chill Valid. runs down my spine. I cross my arm over my chest and slide myself away from him and closer to the edge of the bench, as you should. How often does this sane person walk up to you out of the blue and start asking such questions? Not often, for me at least. I would like to mention that chat has now come up with a whore twink. Hey! We're all against you, buddy. <laughs> You're so mean to me. Wait, where's that, that one picture no, this that's is... like the guy with his butt cheeks out and he's like, everyone's so mean to me. This is this is an affectionate whore twink. This is like it, it's imagine a picture of like everyone cheering someone who looks like they're crying and their their face is replaced with the crying cat. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. Yeah, that's my face right now. Thanks. He You're picks welcome. up on my knees and refrains from sliding any closer. He crosses his fingers. 
he crosses his fingers in between his legs? <laughs> what? This boy's got fingers on his legs. <laughs> okay. The fingers in between his legs. The ones that are used for grasping. Wait, this one doesn't have a voice line. You can read it. I mean... You don't look like a groundskeeper, or one of the old people feeding pigeons after doing Tai Chi. Maybe I am an old person. Fuck you. Did you enjoy your Tai Chi? No, I'm just, uh, getting some alone time to myself. Things have been pretty intense lately. Oh, you've been camping. <laughs> he scoots himself even closer, his hand nearly touching mine as he smiles shyly. L Nothing look, I know this is shy. sudden, very sudden, but if you're free tonight, can I have the pleasure in taking you out to dinner? Why did the last voice line not have anything? Like, did they just forget to record it? I mean, it's a demo, you know, it's it's a demo, and it looks very good for a demo. We're, we're, having, we're having the piss at it, but it's a good demo so far. There's a huge revelation going on right now. Hoodie? Milky Walmart says, Hoodie, blue shirt and eyes, basic face. You are going to get murdered. He is. He's shy in the nice guy way. No! He's the kind of guy that calls you a bitch for, like, not wanting to go out with him after he, like, picks up your pin bag. He's the guy who calls you a slur after, like, five minutes of you talking on the phone while he's trying to interrupt. God! I missed a Sans comment. I mean, it does it does kind of seem more like Sans than, uh, but... <clears throat> Pez and Huge Pet agree. He's, uh, Sans but from Murder Tale, which I don't know what that is. I oh, have a Oh, you've never job. seen Murder Tale? No. <laughs> Pez, post Murder Tale into chat and also Neeple Shears. What? What the... Did you just make up words? No, you'll see. Neeple shears? Neeple shears. Oh, neeple shears. My mistake. I thought you were making up an entirely different word. Mm -hmm. Neeple shears. What is, is this a Ren and Stimpy thing? Mm, no, it's worse. I'm going to take these shears and I'm going to use them on your neeples. <laughs> Can Holy I shit. have the pleasure? Never mind. He was the weird one. I can't tell if he's a bit awkward or just eccentric. What? Why? Why did he have such an interest in me? Well, I'm your boyfriend. I hate hmm. this. I mean, bold move. Bold move when you're asking someone out. Isn't that why you're here? <laughs> My boyfriend? Why would he be assuming we're in a relationship? There's an awkward silence as the stranger sits, patiently waiting for my answer. Oh, fuck. I, uh, eh, mm, what should I do? Dinner sounds nicer, what? No. Oh shit, it's timed. Uh, d d d d d Dinner! Pause, 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 pause. We couldn't, we couldn't pause, sorry. I panicked. But it was the dot, dot, dot. That was the pause. Oh, I thought you meant pause the game. No, I meant show me those fucking beans. <laughs> Listen, hey, am I, I may to not swear be on smart. You? Go on. No, that's it. Uh, I am, I allowed, am I allowed to say cuss words on here? Yeah, you can say cuss words. Just not the C word. Fuck. Come shot. <laughs> it's like uh, Milky Walmart. It's like a really fucked up Sans flavored version of that anime trope of finding a girl in your house and it turns out she's magically wished for your wife. He, she's your magically wished for waifu. This would be a better job for me if I could read. <laughs> uh, did you did you see Neeple Shoes? I've added you at it. I, I saw it. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to dignify it. And Too then bad. he added me in it. <sighs> I refuse to look at it again. Too bad. Put your glasses back on and face reality. 
Um, I guess. It's not like I'm doing anything anyways, and it would be nice, uh, it would be a nice break from the monotony. God knows I can stand to forget my problems for a few hours, and this guy seems interesting enough to keep my mind off things. He also seems very creepy. Interesting is the most polite way to put that this guy's terrifying. He again, he didn't he didn't have a line there. Really? That's great. <laughs> Your taquitos are not ready, sir. Oh no, I'm here for the nacho plate. <laughs> <laughs> he beams, taking hold of my uh, taking hold of my hand into his own. Okay. See you tonight at seven. He was about to stand up from the bench, but pauses abruptly abruptly when he realizes that he's forgetting something. You know, like telling me where he wants to go have dinner or giving me his phone number or anything so that I can promptly like report name? him to the cops. Like his fucking name. Oh, I have to read this. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. We need a place to meet up. Sorry, I know that I sound absent-minded, but... I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, thanks. Oh, I can't fucking wait, but I'm so fucking shy. Oh. Um... How about that old diner downtown? It's nice and quiet, so no one will disturb us. <clears throat> the diner downtown? Which one? You know, the one that you work at. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great, <laughs> see you tonight. Bye. And just like that, he hurries off with a leap in every step, looking as though he had just won the lottery. I watch him as he disappears down a path that bends around a shallow hill and out of view. The park was quiet again, and the serene loneliness sets in once more. It's just me and a few songbirds singing in a nearby tree. I sit for a while. Replaying that strange encounter in my head a few times. I suppose that I should be flattered that he took such an interest in me. I can't tell if meeting no. someone like that is normal or not. It's not! How, what do you mean it's you not. can't tell if that's normal or not? Are you fucking stupid? Uh, it's nothing on. like um, I've ever seen in movies and television. May I? May I please? Um, let's let's wrap for a second here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a wild leap of faith. I'm gonna take a. Oh, I thought, out. I thought you wanted me to beatbox. No, well, you can if you want to. No, I'm not good at it. Everybody's good at beatboxing. You've never heard me beatbox. Listen, if you're bad enough at it, you just loop around back to being good. Huh? You can just say you're doing like hyper complex beats that, like, what you can't understand my beats. <laughs> I'm doing Scrub. dubstep beats. <laughs> Okay, but continue. What did you want to say? I completely forget I beatboxed it out of my head. <laughs> well, if you remember, just scream it whenever this guy is apparently violating us. Oh, I remember now. Uh, mention of violation reminded me. Um, oh, I'm going to go ahead and guess that... Huh? Go, go on. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this was created by an avid Tumblr user. Yeah. But then again, if I were Hollywood attractive, maybe it would be normal. Maybe it would be so normal that it would be almost annoying. Now Have listen. someone just walk up to you and act like your boyfriend? Yeah. Now, now listen. I think of myself as a, a solid six out of 10. Never in my fucking life has anyone come up to me and just said that they are my partner. I I would regard myself as um physically from the the mid chest up. I could probably pass for 
Uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna go full body. I could pass for a seven. If I, I think just... you're an eight. Nate, you're an eight. I am not an eight. You like, are an I, eight. I, you're I, an attractive I... man, Nate. I'm not an eight. I just have a beard. Yeah, and that bumps you up to an eight. It's a deception. It's a ruse. <laughs> It's like when it's like when a cat goes up when it tackles. I've seen you without a beard. You're also fine. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm like a fine. I'm a seven. Yeah. But. Also, I'm gonna bump myself up to seven too. I think I look hot. Whole package. I think I might be a three. No, no. Nate, when I saw you come out of that airport with your fly down and that Hawaiian shirt on, I knew for a fact you were an eight. You bastard. <laughs> How dare you hit me like that? I feel my cheeks flush as I think about him saying, Can I have the pleasure? What? You go everybody... for that? You go for that? Well, I mean, everybody's agreeing that this was probably written by a Mormon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's only an erotic horror novel or a horror visual novel because it has that Mormon bubble porn. Wait till you see this dude show up in his khaki slacks. A shy smile creeps from the corners of my mouth. He must be as new to this as I am. What a shy, awkward guy. I think, um, I think the chat is, uh, getting a little confused at, uh, bubble porn. Because there's, you know, you know there's two definitions of that. There's two definitions of bubble porn. Well, I mean, you know, it, it could mean one thing. It could mean the Mormon <laughs> bubble porn. So basically, in uh, in the Mormon faith, it's what's the word? It's it's sacrilegious to look. It's sacrilegious to I think drink soda, drink alcohol, well, and look at pornography, and of course to masturbate. Uh, but they'll revoke get, your magic underwear. They'll revoke your magic Mormon underwear. Uh, but to get around that, they uh, uh, they make bubble porn, which is basically like it's pictures that are totally like okay, like it's pictures of women in bikinis or in like uh, a tank top or something. But they like put a, a colored screen over it and then they. Uh, hollow out bubbles that show skin while hiding the clothing that they're still wearing. So it looks like they're naked while they're not actually naked. Which is worse, I want to say. I, I want to say that's skeevier and it's worse. It's skeevier because a lot of the time it's just random pictures found off the internet of random people that you're like taking their, their own family photo of me and my sister at, at the beach and they just turn it into porn that they can whack it to. Yeah, they just go, but what if you were nude under there? <laughs> but what if we imagine you naked as you? I know that you're just a regular person and a bystander in this, but what if I looked at you in a covetous way? Ooh. You're going to Mormon hell. The birds, the birds stop singing as I feel a knot grow in the pit of my stomach. Oh no, it's a furry game. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, and you're going to Mormon hell, too. No! Mormon Jesus is there, and I want nothing to do with that guy. Mormon Jesus is in Mormon hell? What the fuck do you think the Mormon faith is? Bad. Not even Jesus went to heaven. That son of a bitch is roasting. <laughs> he drank wine. He turned water into wine. Of course he's going to Mormon hell. Shit, you're right. How did he know where I work? How did I'm, he know where I jerk? <clears throat> I'm glad that the birds... Wow, it's pretty bright out for seven. Well, I say that, but then I look out my window and the sun is still blazingly up and it's still 101 degrees outside. So yeah, that's fine for seven. 7 p.m. waking up in the morning. Gotta have my bowl. Gotta have my cereal. <clears throat> Re Rebe Rebecca Black is a fine person. We I love think. Rebecca I think. The Right. I think the internet is done making fun of her. Yeah. Did you see that, like, mini documentary about her working on Friday? Uh, no, I didn't. 
So basically, the only reason she did it is because one of her friends at school came in and was like, hey, look at this cool music video I was in. And Re Rebecca was like, oh, that's so cool. How do I do that? Uh, and so it was like, you would basically sign up for like these, these little uh, music video shoots. They already had like the lyrics all written up and you just come in and record them for them. And then you'd make the, the music video with them. And it just so happened that old YouTube algorithm made Friday really, really unfortunately popular. That is unfortunate. I, I very similarly, I I do hold a random couple's uh, life in my hands. Uh, I buy random VHS tapes, and one of them that I bought was very interesting because it had like a Sphinx on it and it had Luxor on it. As you know, Luxor is the uh, casino themed after uh the hit film the mummy starring brendan fraser yes yes I, I i live in i live in redacted i know yeah uh so um <clears throat> basically what i have on this vhs is a couple's uh um karaoke of i can't remember the, if it's ain't no mountain high enough or if it's islands in the stream but they're just going through it very poorly and i at any time because i'm in possession of this and because i am in possession of the internet i could just like throw it out there for the worst people to find oh my god and i don't do that because i'm not a sociopath and i've never gone on reddit in my life oh i wish that were me not that i would put it out there but that i'd never been to fucking reddit like I, I've been on the front page of Reddit. What? But that's that's. When did oh, they? Yeah. No, no. Where? What? I I made a Tumblr post and the Tumblr post got stolen. Well, I I know I made a comment on a Tumblr post. Somebody. Okay, you know the game Overwatch. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a popular game that everybody hates. Yeah. So uh, somebody made a, just a cheeky little edit of Widowmaker, like, and said, what if she went to the chiropractor? Is this the and, like, fucking she, they nerfed her tactical ass? Yes, when I, when they, they, when someone in the, in the, in the comments was like having a very normal time talking about like, oh, uh, actually it's to represent the thraxis of a spider. And that's why she's blue, like an Oompa Loompa, because, you know, they, they put her in the juice factory and wrung her out. And so, so I just put myself in the mindset of this dude. And I, I just screamed at the top of my lungs. You're ruining the lore by robbing her of her tactically enhanced cybernetic ass. God. No, her cybernetically enhanced tactical ass. Cybernetically enhanced name. tactical ass. That is my wife. You can't you can't mess that up. Right, I can't I can't screw with your cybernetically enhanced tactical ass, which is your wife. Man, Pavlov would be rolling in his fucking grave, because every time I play Overwatch with Justin, and I see a Widowmaker, I of course go and murder her as Lucio, but I, when I do it, I say I'm gonna go give my wife a kiss. And, I mean, for one thing, it's very fun to go and murder Widowmakers as Lucio, because they never expect it, and then they target you for the rest of the match, because they fucking hate you. Uh, Lucio, but... Lucio, Lucio! Uh, but I have successfully Pavlovianly pa pa Pavlovianly I've trained myself to love Widowmaker by saying she's my wife. There you go. Anyway. Uh, now, you, now you have to buy a Dakimakura. One sec, I just got paid, so... <laughs> <laughs>